while we own the ladies, um, I would be remiss, and I know we would be remiss. I know you would feel the same, Eric, if we did not say this. We've been saying this every week, and we're going to continue to say this. Uh, and I'm going to give you three names, Jonathan Mattingly, Brett Hankinson, and Miles Cosgrove. And those are the police officers involved in the murder of Breonna Taylor. And those, 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 those men need to be arrested. And we're going to keep saying that until justice has been served for Breonna Taylor, yep. until George Floyd, James Blake now. We got to add him onto the list. Ahmaud Aubrey, the list just goes on and on. But we, we, we need justice. And those police officers need to be arrested. Rest in peace, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and Ahmaud Aubrey. And uh, with that being said, Eric, you want to get a quick final thought in before we get up out of here? Absolutely, because I want to keep it on that same topic. And I'm, I'm so glad you brought it up because we're going not only are we going to keep talking about it, we need to continue to hold you media outlets accountable. There is photos that have surfaced that shows that the police who broke into Breonna Taylor's home, because let's call it what it is, and murdered her, had body cams on and before we were led to believe that there was no body cams of the incident and we were led to believe that they opened fire because brianna taylor's boyfriend shot at them first which he had every right to do because you were unlawfully breaking into their home yeah. so we need the media to stay on top of this and re- and force the release of that footage because we need to see what took place in that home and we need to hold these police officers accountable for what they did they and let's not forget it and let's not sugarcoat it they broke into a sleeping woman's home in the middle of the night. And then when they were met with resistance, they opened fire. They did, they did not address who they were. They tried to issue a no-knock warrant for someone who had not lived at that residence for over three years. This woman was murdered in her home. And her and her, uh, they weren't married, but her boyfriend uh, were then made to seem as if, well, he opened fire on the police. Well, what the heck were you expecting when you break in somebody's door in the middle of the night? Yeah. It's not even like you came in the afternoon. No. Or, you know, in the morning. Was, we, we, right. One in the, one they, in the morning. It's something like that. It was 12, one in the morning. They were woken expecting? out their sleep. This was a tax-paying citizen who was trying to get some rest for work the next day. Let's call it what it is. Since y'all love to, since yeah, y'all love to spin the narrative, y'all love to, y'all love to dig up somebody's dirt when, when they get murdered and make it seem like they are the reason they got murdered. She had no reason to be murdered. She was a taxpaying citizen who was in her home getting rest so she can go to work as an EMT the next day. An essential worker. So keep that, put that in your pipe and smoke it. And with that being said, <laughs> I'm Trip Young, my main man, legend in two games, Eric Sanchez. And we will see you guys next week, man. We up out of here. Peace. Peace. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real, Real Talk. Fans. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real 